Hello there students. I hope you are all having a good day. So I am here to help you with this question from 2019 exam. Let me read out the statement for this two mark question. What is the minimum number of two input NOR gates required to implement a four variable function expressed in sum of min terms form as f is equal to summation 0, 2, 5, 7, 8, 10, 13, 15. Assume all the inputs and their complements are available. So this is the function that they have given in the question. You can see all these are the min terms. That means the function will have one at all these inputs. Let's fill that. 0, 2, 5, 7. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is 5 and here we'll be having 7. Then you have 8, 10, 13, 15. 8 is here. 10 is here. 13 and 15. So these are all the ones or all the places where function outputs a 1. Okay. Now let's minimize this by finding out all the essential prime implicants. Now we have solved this question multiple times. I think you know that these groups will be formed. Okay. So these are the two groups that will be formed. Let's find out the minimal SOP. For this group, for this prime implicant, it will be B, D. Okay. So B, D plus. For this one, it, it will be B bar, D bar, okay. B bar, D bar. Now we need to implement it. You, now we need to implement this using NOR gates. You very well know this is SOP form, sum of products form. SOP form can be implemented with NAND gates. And POS form can be implemented with NOR gates. Okay. For implementing a circuit with NOR gates, POS form is the preferred one. So we require this in POS form. One thing that you could do is, you just leave all these ones and mark these zeros. Okay. You mark these zeros and solve the question according to max terms. That means you group the max terms and directly get POS form. Second thing that you could do is that I personally prefer is you just get the SOP form then convert it into POS. So let's convert it into POS. POS will be B bar plus D into B plus D bar. Okay. So if you just open these brackets, you will get this back. How do I know that this is the POS form? You just distribute this plus over this end. So you will get BD plus B bar dot BD plus D bar. Okay. Now you can apply absorption law here and you will get this thing. Okay. So this is our function in POS form. Mind it, I am not saying canonical POS. This is just POS. You can say standard POS. Okay. It's not canonical. So now you can use NAND gates to implement it. So using NAND gates, uh, NOR gates, I'm sorry, it's NOR gates. Using NOR gates here, it will be implemented like this. B bar D, B bar D and B D bar, B D bar. Okay. So complements are available. They have mentioned it in question. That means B bar and D bar, they are available as an input. So this is the circuit. That means minimum number of NOR gates that are required is three. From here, from this SOP form, 
you can just know how many NAND gates are required. Let's do that also. So implementing this function using NAND gates, you will use the SOP form. So NAND gates will be this okay so bd plus b bar d bar that means these two are bd and these two are b bar and d bar okay both of these circuits represent the same function this function that's given in the question the difference is this one is implemented using only nor gates this one is implemented using only nand gates if you don't know how to convert uh, expression into a circuit you can watch my theory lectures okay so it's simple uh, this pos form can be converted into a circuit of nor gates very easily okay so i've discussed this in a great detail in my theory lectures anyways answer to this question is three minimum three nor gates are required for implementing it okay